if I choose to wear this, am I causing my brother in Christ to stumble? Like, I don't ever want to be a judgmental Christian, you know? Even though the Bible does say... Right. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Did we get that? Did we get that? What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And today we're out asking strangers, should women dress modestly slash... Should they be wearing itty bitty teeny weeny bikinis? <laughs> she wore an itty bitty. If you want to see more videos of Paul and Morgan take to the streets, subscribe to this channel. And shout out to our patrons. Thank you guys for supporting what we do on this channel. We couldn't be here. We could not continue doing this without your all's monthly support. Thank you. If you want to become a patron, we do patron only Zoom calls, which I'll be honest, our upcoming Zoom call, there's going to be a lot to talk about. So I'm very excited about that. We also do patron weekly encouragements, and it's just a place that allows us to go deeper with you and you to go deeper with us. So consider becoming a patron. All right, Morgan, I'm ready to go. I'm a little bit nervous. Anytime this subject is breached, it gets zesty. But I think inviting others into this conversation, I, I... we're here to hear the people. We're here for the people. We have our ideas. Maybe our ideas will get challenged. Maybe we'll challenge some other people. He's originally from Ukraine. I'm from Ukraine. Right. First question we like to ask people is, do you consider yourselves Christians? Yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. So our hot topic question of the day, do you feel like women should dress modestly? I think it, it depends what you mean by the word modest, you know, in what settings, it depends on the context, but generally, yes, I, I would agree in terms of like revealing sensitive body areas and body parts. I think modesty can look different for every person, but I think at the root of the term modesty, it's like, where is your heart at in how you're dressing? And what are your intentions with that? So. Right. I like that you guys brought up the heart. I think that's a big one. All right, final question. Let's go to the pool. How do you feel about women wearing very revealing bikinis. I would say that it's not a good thing for like for a man to be in that setting in, in the setting of temptation. You know, we're talking about Christian, you know, from our, my perspective. But also men have choice of where to look and, and what to see and but also it would not be respectful ladies i guess towards those men you say it, it does go both ways it there's perhaps some ways. onus on both yes would you agree with that i think it's uh like a righteous calling to protect men especially christians like our brothers in christ like if i choose to wear this am i causing my brother in christ to stumble again it all comes down to like what is your heart i would say most of the time if a woman is wearing like not like a revealing bathing suit like i think the big biggest question is to ask like where is your relationship with Christ and like going from there mm -hmm. but yeah wow. you guys got uh, more deep deeper deeper than I expected <laughs> thank you guys so much all right I'm here with my sis-in-law Jules she's Jules. single she's single okay. first question is are you a Christian yes I am very good next question <clears throat> should women dress modestly I mean as a Christian I think all women should I don't think non-christians i don't think that we should expect non-christians to obviously as a christian i think that women should dress modestly how do you feel about christian women wearing like itty bitty teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikinis <laughs> <laughs> i think i used to be like no never wear a bikini i think there are some modest bikinis out there though um i think if your boobs and your butt are covered then you're probably okay there is this scripture talking about not causing a brother to stumble and i know people will be like that's the guy's responsibility if they lust and like that's true i agree it is their responsibility but there is also something that we as women can do to show love to men dressing modestly thanks jules <laughs> thanks <laughs> Right. Oh, <laughs> wow. Did we get that? Did we get that? All right, I'm here with Chris. Chris, first question we'd like to ask is, do you consider yourself a Christian? Yes. The big kahuna question for the day, do you think that women should dress modestly? Two-part answer. Uh, one, can you define modestly? Wearing clothes that aren't revealing and accentuating and provocative. Sure, I think that Christians should dress Modestly. There's not a separation between men and women in that. That is a, that is a Christian standard, not a gender-based standard. Totally fair. But my next question, though, does have to do more with women, because more often women are the ones wearing the bikinis, even though it is 2023. How do you feel about Christian women wearing very revealing bikinis? To be honest, I, I understand the way you're structuring it. 
but I think the easiest way to answer it is to lay down a standard for Christians as a whole. The only blanket statement that I can make is that Christians should pra should practice reasonable modesty. Yeah. Chris is keeping it very, shall we say, vague. That's not vague. He's keeping it very safe. <laughs> Chris, what are your thoughts on, on me accusing you of keeping it too safe? Not safe at all. I think uh, a lot of times we see Christian men speak to the modesty of women without questioning or laying focus to the modesty they themselves portray. There's definitely been a, a heavier emphasis on women's modesty than men's modesty, and I think both are equally a prideful thing. Appreciate your honest answers, my friend. Chris is part of a podcast oh, no. that discuss deep theological Christian issues. I will link the podcast below. Solo Christo. <laughs> Solo Christo. First question, we make Christian content, so just are you guys Christian? Yes, I am. Yes. Our hot topic question is, should women dress modestly? I think, you know, everyone has their own opinion of what modest is and nowadays. Like, what is modest? Part of me feels like if you're dressing to, you know, make yourself happy, like, go for it. But if you're dressing to, like, get the attention of someone else, maybe that isn't modest so kind of like where's your heart and when right. you're where's dressing your heart and what you're wearing yeah right. if it's more for like vain reasons how do you all feel about the itsy bitsy teeny weeny bikinis that women wear i personally don't rock that <laughs> um, i just don't feel comfortable Same. <laughs> but you know to some degree to each their own and what's their reason for dressing like that i don't get bothered by it personally but like yeah if i had a kid would i want my kid to see that or dress like that no and i don't personally choose to so do you feel like as Christian women like we should be encouraging other Christian women to just check your heart check your heart as far as clothes bathing suits etc go or do you feel like we should just kind of let them do their own thing we've been friends for forever and like I'd hope she would you know put me in place and I'd yeah. do the same with her that's cool yeah I think there's a fine line too between like I can tell you, uh, no, girl, don't wear that. But, like, <laughs> if I wouldn't tell someone else that, you know, and I think yeah. that there's a fine line between being, like, watching out for your friends and, like, checking someone's heart and being judgmental. Like, I don't ever want to be a judgmental Christian, you know. Even though the Bible does say it is okay to judge within the church, but outside of the church where we, we don't have any... What's the word? Business doing that? Yeah, jurisdiction. Let it be. I like the idea of just holding one another accountable. I think as friends, you know, just being like, hey, where's your heart in this? I think that that's a great thing to have. So I'm glad you guys have each other. Sam, first question we like to ask, do you consider yourself a Christian? I do. So the hot topic question of the day, should women dress modestly? Personally, modesty is very it's very welcoming. Not to say that you have to wear like a robe. Do it out of respect for you, for God. All right, guys, we got a bonus interview. I'm here with my grandma, Nana. Say hi, Nana, to YouTube. Mm. So here's the big kahuna, the big question for today's video. Okay. And just answer honestly, should women dress modestly? I, I think it's disgusting to see them not dressed modestly. What about the young ladies that say, well, this is my body and if I wear really immodest, revealing stuff, it makes me feel good. What do you think about that? Stay in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> the last question for you, Nana, and thank you for your honesty. You are fearless. How do you feel about when we go to the pool, because you and I were up at the pool a little bit ago, and when you see women that are dressing in very, shall we say, skimpy bikinis, what do you think about that? My tendency would be to tell their mother, take them home and teach them how to dress, you know, something like that. But I don't, I don't see that, that I feel repulsed or anything. You know, it's the swimming pool. So are you saying that you have some grace and understanding? I think so. No, I mean, I, I don't want you running around half dressed. Wise words from grandmother Nana. <laughs> Thank you, Nana. <laughs> oh All right, Morgan, debrief. So I was just telling Morgan, our haters are gonna watch this video, our like super pro women just go crazy with your dressing. They're gonna watch this and be like, what in the world was that about? <laughs> Everyone was Christian and for modesty. Uh, overall though, Morgan, I was, I was just like really impressed and encouraged. And you know, somebody can give an answer and then suddenly like we see them at the pool and they're dressed <laughs> in what they're saying they wouldn't dress in. But overall, True. 
it was I mean it's pretty encouraging modesty is something hard for me to talk about because I know that it's so gray in some ways and then it's not in other ways but I also know it really truly is a heart thing a heart posture and how we want to represent Christ and I like the the one girl um, on the pathway that, that mentioned the matter of the heart mm-hmm. what I love and the the bible talks about like older women kind of like mentor be there teach encourage admonish the younger women Mm -hmm. and i feel like this would be a great opportunity for that guys comment below what were your thoughts on this video were you surprised where are you at when it comes to this modesty thing when it comes to i I guess ladies in particular when you're deciding what you're going to wear to the pool or to the beach how do you make that decision what is modest and what is a no-no all right guys we're driving back from filming and i'm just sitting here thinking about everything i just want to make sure that when we talk about this topic like women don't feel like we're beating them over the head being like shame on you dress better genuinely and i mentioned this several times it's like when it comes to modesty and we are directly talking talking to women because in our society as a majority the women are who are dressed in scantily clad okay that's just the truth of the matter of the fact but when it comes to modesty as christians it's where is our heart it's where are we putting our identity it's where are we seeking affirmation from where are we putting excessive focus and attention on there's a couple bible verses but the apostle paul hits at make sure that your adorning is what's on the inside rather than trying to bring all this focus and attention to what's on the outside and it specifically is referring in those instances more to these women well yes but these women that were trying to look like they were in an upper class of wealth. So braided hair, gold jewelry, all this stuff. And he's like, no, let your beauty come from your heart. Mm-hmm. In today's day and age, what is the big focus of 2023 America? Looking it's like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> it's the sexualization. And so you see these women at the gym or at the pool, look at me and how sexual I am and the way I'm dressing. And I, so I'm saying, just kind of wanting to to bring those bible verses up yeah and then also agree with you and that i mean yes it is it's a two-way street obviously everything is you know you don't want to just isolate one of the sexes but this let's just be real we're not politicians here (laughs) trying to be 100 percent politically correct oh it's always no like this more so is a women's thing more more so as a whole as a whole yes We could talk about how modesty is not just a clothing thing. And I think I did in a sense of saying like, it's a heart thing. It's a behavior thing, how we act. Yeah. But a lot of how modesty comes out and shows whether you are a modest person, a modest woman is how you are dressing. If you are wanting to show off your body, if you are constantly seeking affirmation and confirmation that you're a beautiful woman because you're showing off those boobs, you're showing off that booty that you worked hard for at the gym. Be a beautiful woman that shows discretion. Yes. Like how beautiful is that? Mm -hmm. She's confident, she knows her worth and she dresses pretty with discretion, not feeling like she has to show everything and get validation because of how little clothing she's wearing. Can you see Chris with that low hanging hat? Can you get his eyes? Eyes are the window to the thoughts. Hey guys, as you may have noticed, we get very few brand deals. A big reason for that is because we make unashamedly Christian content. We've had brand deals taken away from us because people who don't like us reach out to them and demand that they cancel us. Due to the fact that we stand on what the Bible says and we don't conform to culture. Which is why our patrons, the names you see here, are so important. You guys really are the lifeblood of this ministry. We could not do it without you all. If you guys believe in this content and you want to partner with us on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash Show or click the link in the description. Go Go team. team. That was the one. That was the one. (laughs)